This is Search History with Tig Notaro. Uh, one thing that I um, found in my search history is how many cats can you have in LA? And um, it, I, <laughs> I found out I'm pushing it. Um, we have one cat uh, that we've had for, I guess she's six. And over the pandemic, uh, we decided to add a couple of extra cats. So we have two kittens, bringing the total to three felines in our house. And uh, the search led to me finding out that that is the maximum amount of cats. And I was seriously considering getting a fourth. I know, I know. To some people, this might sound disgusting. And to others, it might sound like a dream come true. But um, these are the cold hard facts. I have three cats. I want a fourth. And I'm willing to fill out whatever paperwork uh, is necessary to get a permit to have four cats in my house. Look, I'm gay. The um, next thing in my search was how much is a 2011 Lexus SI, I believe it's a 300. I'm not exactly sure what kind of car, but it's the kind of car that I have. I've just not ever really looked into uh, the number. Like, I don't know if, if it's a SI 300 or 350, but I was just home entering that in my search engine. So I don't really know. It's my mother's car um, and I inherited it after she died. And I was attached to it, but now I'm ready to get rid of it. Um, and I don't know how much it's worth. Uh, so I'm, I'm selling a Lexus. Does anybody want to buy a 2011 Lexus SI something or other, some number after that? Uh, please contact me. Um, I'll sign the side of the car. It's my mother's old car. What a fun, fun thing for you to have. Tig Notaro's mother's old car uh, with a signature on the side. You can actually see the car in my documentary on Netflix. My documentary is called Tig and the car is in that, in that documentary. So if you want to see the product before you buy it, there it is. It has probably 75,000 miles on it. Um, yeah, that was what was in my, uh, my search. And um, I think it's like $12,000 is what it's worth. So keep down the cash and get the car. Toe surgery. This, is, this segment is humiliating, Stephen. Um, toe surgery is the is next on the list in my searches because I like to walk every day, um, but there's a toe on my right foot that is so painful. I've gone to see a doctor who insists on orthotics. Yes, I'm 50 years old. I turned 50 this year, but I was also trending on Twitter for being uh, sexy AF, so that's also going on. While I'm trending for being sexy AF, during my neighborhood walks, there is a toe on my right foot that is killing me. I'd prefer to not wear orthotics. They're so uncomfortable. If you're a doctor out there willing to um, fix my toe, I I'm all for it. My doctor won't do it. He's just putting me in uh, elderly orthotics. So um, that's the end of this. Uh, I, I don't know what else to say. My toe hurts. I Googled toe surgery. Where to see and hear more of Tig Notaro? Uh, well, a lot of places, movies and TV shows, but you can also hear me on my two podcasts. One of them is an advice podcast called Don't Ask Tig that Stephen has been on. 
And then I have another podcast with Cheryl Hines from Curb Your Enthusiasm called Tig and Cheryl True Story. And we talk about a new documentary every week. This has been Search History with Tig Notaro.